Hi everyone, it's so great to have you back here for my next tutorial where I'll show you how to make an easy and beautiful bridal shower cake. In this tutorial I used some really cute sweep stamp products which I will list in the video description for you to check out. I first made the fondant bridesmaid decoration to give it enough time for it to dry. You will need to knead and roll out white fondant to about 3 millimeters in thickness and 13 by 13 centimeters wide. You can dust some cornstarch onto the rolling pin and onto the fondant to stop them from sticking. I also dusted some cornstarch onto the outboss stamp and cut bridesmaid stamp to stop the fondant from sticking to the stamp and tearing when you remove the stamp. I then placed the stamp face down onto the fondant. I firmly rolled the pin over the stamp, making sure the stamp stays in place. Then I removed the stamp and used the bridesmaid's cutter to cut out the fondant decoration. Then I gently removed the excess fondant from around the cutout. I wanted to make the bridesmaids really stand out, so I painted the outlines with Sweet Sticks alcohol-free activator and their metallic luster in wedding gold. You mix small amounts of both the activator and the luster to make a paint which dries to the touch in about 30 minutes. To finish off, I used the Outboss Texture Tiles Lace Stamp to add some texture to the edges of the bridesmaid's fondant decoration. While the bridesmaid's fondant decoration dries, you can start to decorate your cake. I frosted a 6x6 inch cake using my Silky Buttercream recipe, which you can find here on my YouTube channel and also on my website, waltoncakeboutique.com. After I frosted my cake, I refrigerated it for two hours to make sure the buttercream was firm. I wanted to give my cake a boho feel, so I used the Sweet Stamps Marabou stencil. When I use stencils or stamps on buttercream, I lightly dust some cornstarch onto the cake and the stencils to stop them from sticking to the buttercream and the buttercream coming off when you remove them. Apply the stencil onto the cake and hold it in place with pins. Use an offset spatula to apply a small amount of buttercream onto the areas desired. Scrape off excess buttercream with a straight spatula. I used a soft, long tip sweet stamp brush to gently apply a small amount of sweet sticks alcohol-free activator onto the desired areas of the stencil. Afterwards, I used a dry, small sweet stamp deluxe dusting brush to apply a generous amount of sweet sticks edible luster onto those areas. I blended in the luster dust well and brushed off any excess with a dry, flat tip sweet stamp brush. Then gently remove the pins and the stencil. Refrigerate the cake for one to two hours until the stenciled areas are firm and dry. Then repeat those steps on the other side of the cake and refrigerate the cake again until firm. Remove the cake from the fridge to add the last decorations. I gave the cake some texture by adding small amounts of buttercream between the stenciled areas. I used a pointed offset sweet stamp palette knife. By now the fondant decoration should be dry and you can apply directly onto your cake. To complete the boho bridal look for this cake, I placed some fresh roses and hollow sprinkles on the cake. Did you know that roses are in fact edible flowers, which makes them very safe to be used on cakes? I have a tutorial showing how you can safely prepare and use fresh flowers on cakes. So check out my tutorials on my YouTube channel and the links in the video description. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time.